guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my fall look by my The City Mini palette. These very pretty colors that I used today. Really hope you guys like this look. If you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Thank you. Please subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, leave a comment below. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. So I already moisturized my face. Now I'm going to prime my face using my Wet n Wild Matte Finish Primer. I'm just going to rub that all over my face. This is my LED mirror, so if you see me looking off to the side, I'm looking into my mirror. So I'm going to brush my brows out with my spoolie. Now my brows have become very unruly, so I don't use the pomade anymore. I just use the pencil and the gel to try to make them lay down as much as I can. So I'm taking my e.l.f. brow pencil in a deep brown got this at Target it was about two dollars and I like this pencil because it's retractable I used to use the uh, Maybelline pencil but it was so skinny that it would always break or fall out before I even get to the end so I felt like that was pretty much a waste of money so I'd rather just buy one for two bucks so I'm just gonna fill in my brow I had a straight hair there now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Toffee. And I'm going to clean up my brows. And I'm using an e.l.f. concealer brush. Also, it's either two or three dollars, very affordable. And then I'm taking my concealer buffer that I got in ISB Glam Bag just to blend that concealer into my skin. And for the top part of my brow, I'm using a smaller concealer brush, also by e.l.f. And then I use my bigger one to blend it in, and then I buff it out with my buffer. And I really sped up my brows because I'm trying to get into the video and I don't really put a long video. And here is my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. And this is a deep brown. And I'm using an angled eyeliner brush because when you try to use the applicator it puts too much on your brow and it'd be really clumpy so I just use this brush and now I'm going to take my orange color corrector by LA Girl Pro and I'm just applying this to the dark spots of my face I have some scars on my chin and some dry patches for eczema and I also have some scars for pimples I had and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend that in Now I'm taking my Sonia Kashik. I'm not sure if that's the name of it or how you pronounce it, but I got it from Target. It was $7 and it's a beauty sponge. So I'm going to use my um, Superstay Maybelline Full Coverage Foundation, color 460 Mocha. And then I'm going to wet my sponge and just blend that into my face. Now I have combination skin, so I want a full coverage foundation, but I also like a darker shade, so I'm going to use my Revlon Insta Filter Photo Ready 
number 450 also mocha you would think that since the color is above mocha they would be the same shade but they are not and I'm going to re-wet my brush my sponge and just blend that into my skin I really like the Sonia Kashyyyk sponge it's really easy to work with and it really gives me a good flawless finish that I like and it don't have to take too much work with it and it expands when you wet it now I'm going to take my LA Girl concealer the same one I used to clean up my brows and toffee just highlight my under my eyes my chin my nose you can see I'm running out and in between my brows and then I'm going to use my Sonia beauty splendor Ugh, sorry beauty sponge and just blend that out You can wear this look for any holiday, fall, Thanksgiving, going out on day night, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to take my, this is also LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this color is Cocoa Bean. I'm just going to contour my nose and my cheekbones, and then I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Splendor. Oh, I keep saying blender. Beauty sponge, <laughs> sorry. And just blend that out. And now I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and just apply that on the areas that I applied concealer just to set it. And you don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to. And these are the areas where I get oily. So yes. I used to use a translucent setting powder, but every time I did, when I took a photo, I would get flashback. So with this one, I don't get a flashback. So now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil Milk and I'm using this as my primer today. And I'm just going to put this on my eyes like so. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Mini Blending Spun Blending Brush and just blend it into my eyelid. Now this uh, Maybelline The City Mini Palette, it doesn't have a name like the rest of them. It just says X Shayla, so I guess it's a celebrity or whatever, but I just bought it because the colors I thought were really pretty. So I'm going to take this brownish color, and I'm guessing I can use this as my transition shade, you would call it. And I'm just going to dab into my outer V and blend into my crease, and then I'm going to bring it up towards my brow bone but not filling my brow bone and I'm using my Glamour Dolls beauty brush Ugh, Glamour Dolls blending brush that I got in my ISB Glam bag and now I'm going to take my blending brush by e.l.f. and put go in with that burgundy color into my crease and just blend it in and then I go back in with that e.l.f. crease brush Now I'm going to take this black in my outer V, just dab it into my outer V to give it a little trauma there. I forgot that I wanted to use tape, so I probably should have did my eyes first in my foundation. But I said, too late now, so I'm just going with it. Then I'm going back in with that burgundy, just to bring it out some more and to find it. Just blending it, blending it up towards my brow bone. Make sure it's nice and blended. Now I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and pack some of that burgundy in the front part of my eye towards my tear duct. Sorry, I was talking to my son. He's running back and forth. I told him, "Stop! You hurt yourself." Then I'm going to put some towards the end of my eye and leave the middle of it free for my halo and I uh, used my elf concealer in the middle I thought my camera was on but it was off sorry about that and then I'm going to pack in this golden color here 
in the middle and just blend it into the purple so it looks like it's blended and not three separate separate shades and I'm just making this up as I go along I didn't know what I wanted to do I just wanted to use all these colors because they're very pretty and then I'm just putting in some more of that burgundy make sure it's pigmented and it shows then I'm going to take some black and blend that into my crease And I'm just blending, 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 making sure everything is nice and blended together. My colors don't look separate. And then I'm going to take some of this gold and apply it towards my tear deck just for a little highlight there. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Master Call Eyeliner in Onyx Rush and I'm using that for my waterline. Now using an angled eyeliner brush, I'm just taking some of that burgundy and apply it along my lower lash line just for some added drama. And I think it ties in with the look and brings out the eyes and then I'm just using my Glamour Dolls blending brush just to blend that out a little bit now my eyeliner and my mascara I did off camera I used my Maybelline Defina Lash in very black and I did my wing and then I took some of that gold in color and used that for my uh, highlight my brow bone and then I'm going to take this pink glitter eyeliner that I got on Amazon and I'm just going to apply that above my black eyeliner just for a little bit of sparkle there can't go wrong with glitter I love glitter then I'm just going to take some more of that burgundy and apply it along my lower lash line make sure it's nice and defined and dramatic and now for my cheeks I'm using my Steve Laurent blush um, blushing. I got this in a SB Glam bag a couple of months ago. And then I'm going to take this uh, Bonnie Dew Womanizer, whatever it's called. I got this in my uh, November Glam bag. If you watched the video posted like five days ago, just highlighting the high points of my face. Gonna highlight my nose and by my brows. There, I'm just rub it in with my finger and then I'm also going to go on top of that with my master holographic number 50 highlighter with the fan brush just for a little bit of added sparkle and then I also going to put a little bit of that on my nose and a little bit on my forehead now for my Lips. I'm using my Maybelline Prime It Up Lip Primer and I'm just going to apply that on my top of my lips before using my lip liner and this is my NYX Matte Lip Liner and the color is Copenhagen and I got this from Target and I really love this color and then I also got this English Rose lipstick a couple of months ago on a blind bag I got and then I'm going to take this NYX lingerie this brownish color I forgot the color but it came in the SB glam bag as well I'm just going for a soft and then I'm using this uh, SB pink it doesn't have a name it just says Ipsy unzipped but it's like a soft pink and it's matte and then I'm just gonna go back in with that lip liner And now I'm going to take my Maybelline Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to set my face. Now when I did my uh, setting spray, I didn't realize that my camera wasn't on anymore. So I used my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray to set my face. 
sorry about that but i really hope you guys like this look please subscribe and share hit the like button and uh thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video So here's the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.